Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Wei Wei Chan from Sanghae uh, Central University. Uh, I'm a third year PhD student. So um, today I'm going to talk about my PhD thesis, aggregation of argumentative senses. So in my thesis, I consider the scenario of aggregating in which a point of view when a set of agents engage in a debate, he may wish to aggregate the, the agents point of view into a global view which can best represent the, the, the consensus of the group. So how to best aggregate such, uh, how to consider such scenario is the question I'm considering in my thesis. So abstract argumentative framework can be used to represent agents uh, argumentative senses uh, in different labels. The first level is an abstract aggregation framework can be used to represent an agent's uh, 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 standpoint. At the second level, uh, the acceptance of a set of arguments also can be represent agent's standpoint. So there are two, uh, two different levels. So the outline of my talk, first I will talk briefly talk argumentation framework and uh, argumentative senses. And uh, in the second part, I will talk the aggregation of the abstract, abstract argumentation framework, which is the first level of argumentative senses. Sense. And uh, in the third part, I will talk about aggregation of alternative extensions, which is uh, the second level of argumentative sense. And uh, in the last, I will uh, summary the brief, a brief talk future work. So there's first I will briefly talk argumentation framework and I will abstract argumentation framework consists of two parts. The first is the set of finite set of argumentation. The second is the uh, set of finite aggregation, which is based on the first part. So there are several uh, semantics which self are defined by Sun uh, Zun in nineteen ninety five. Some are uh, defined by authors. Um, such as self-dependent reinstating. So self-dependent is a set of argument, uh, arguments which is a subset of the set of arguments which can be defended by itself. And the reinstating is the set of arguments. Uh, the, 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 the set of arguments can be defended by third and is a subset of third. So um, these are the semantics of abstract argumentation. So in my thesis, I consider the abstract aggregation of uh, argumentative senses as two levels. By indicating for every pair of arguments that is being considered in a debate, where the first uh, attacks the second. So an agent's standpoint or viewpoint can be uh, can be <coughs> considered by by an argumentation framework. So in this level, an abstract argumentation framework represents uh, the agent's standpoint. And in the second level is uh, by identifying for every argument whether it is acceptable under the same argumentation framework. So in this level, everyone, every agent shares the same argumentation framework as in the first level. So every agent share the, the individual argumentation framework. So uh, given a set of agents, so and every agent possess an argumentative senses, we would like to aggregate such senses into a global view. So now I'm going to talk the first level, uh, the aggregation of argumentation frameworks. So the scenario is like this, fixed a set of arguments, given a, an agent and a profile of the tag relation. Uh, how should we best aggregate this information? So we can see in this in these uh, scenarios, every agent has their individual aggregation framework, but at the, at the same time, they propose the same set of arguments. They share the same set of arguments, but have different uh, different point of view on the acceptance of the tag relation. So they have the same set of arguments, but different on the uh, which attack which uh, attack relations can be accepted. So here is a very simple example. There are three arguments. First is an 
three similar consumption per post of fuel. Uh, the second is preventing global warming, so the, the third is lowering or eliminating electric car tax. So there are three persons, everyone has uh, uh, shared the same set of arguments, but they are different ones which attack relations can be accepted. The first is the uh, American President Donald Trump, and he considers that uh, uh, A attacks B and A attacks B is acceptable. And uh, the second person is Emmanuel Macron, who is the president of the France, and he considers C, C attacks A and B, B attacks C is acceptable. So the third person is the scientist, he considers B attacks C and B attacks A is acceptable. So after uh, the, 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 the aggregation rule is the majority rule. So we can see after aggregation, only uh, B attacks C is, is accepted. So why is, why is it accepted? Because uh, Emmanuel Macron and the scientists, the both of them are accepted. Accept, uh, B attacks C. So you can see uh, uh, in the first uh, Donald Trump, in many he considers only A is acceptable. In the, uh, for Emmanuel Macron, maybe he considers B and C is acceptable. And uh, a scientist, uh, maybe he considers only B is acceptable. So after our aggregation, we, we can see uh, the, the, uh, the uh, argumentation framework is similar to Emmanuel Macron and the scientist uh, because both B and C is acceptable. So here is, uh, is a very, uh, is very formal example. So the scenario that I'm considering in my thesis is uh, like this. Let F be a majority rule and consider the three, uh, consider the following examples. So in the first argumentation framework, uh, so there are three argumentation framework which for the pro proposed by three agents, A, A, one proposed by A, A, one. The, and this uh, is the output of um, after application. So you can see A of tax B is accepted because uh, both A, A1 and A3 accept, uh, accept A of tax B and B of tax C uh, get accepted because uh, both uh, A1 and A3 accept uh, B of tax C and C of tax A get accepted because both F2 and agent 2 and agent 3 accept uh, uh, C attacks A. But there are some uh, very interesting observations. The first uh, is the secrecy is not preserved under the majority rule in, the, in this specific example. Because you can see in, in all three agents, they all uh, agree that uh, the acquisition framework is. Uh, is uh, a cycle because there's no cycle in F1, F2, and F3, but at the same time, there's a cycle in, the, in output because you can see a tax C, A attacks B, C attacks C, C attacks A, which uh, is a cycle. So here is a very interesting uh, secret to this. It's not preserved in, uh, it's not preserved under the majority rule. But at the, at the same time, nothing is of the relative extension is preserved. So the asynchronicity and the non is of the relative extension are the pro are two properties, uh, are two interesting properties. So uh, because uh, both F2 and F, F1, F2 and F3, three application framework, they all finish agree that the Gordon's extension is not empty. And uh, at the same time, in the output, the argumentation framework is also, the Gordon's extension is also not empty. So in this specific example, in the majority rule, uh, the non thing of the Gordon's extension is preserved. But uh, the general question, the question is, uh, is the later result, which is the non of the preservation of non of the graphic extension, can it be preserved in general? So this is the question we are interested in the first level application of argumentation framework. So there are several interesting uh, uh, there are several interesting results that we have proved. The first is the very uh, the, 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 the things we are interested in is. 
property, such as the secret in the nice of the Brownian extension, or a set of arguments which uh, B, uh, B and extension according to a given semantic. So there are several very interesting researches. The first is very simple. Uh, the conflict premise can be preserved by most of the rational aggregation rules. Every aggregation rule S that is grounded preserves conflict premise. The proof of that the idea is very simple because no grounded aggregation rule would freeze would event an attack relation between two elements because if you if you want to violate the uh, the conflict premise you have to event an attack relation which cannot be done under the grounded the grounded uh, aggregation rule. There's one thing uh, worth to mention is that uh, an aggregation rule which is called grounded is that is the sub uh, the output is the subset of the union of the input aggregation framework. So the grounded is different from the grounded extension. There are two different kinds of concepts. It's different from the grounded extension and aggregation framework. So there are some <coughs> very um, negative results. There is one of them is the preservation of grounded extension is impossible unless you uh, are willing to impose to an a uh, big nature in in the agents. So for um, for the, the number of arguments was greater or equal to five, any unanimous grounded neutral and independent aggregation rule that preserves grounded extension must be a dictatorship. So this means that the preservation of uh, grounded grounded extension maybe is it is impossible if unless you Around the existence of a dictator, so the the proof of the of these theorems will uh, borrow the so borrow the ideas from the graph aggregation, which first first proposed by uh, Rangers and the uh, bank of grants in graph aggregations. So it's a very negative, uh, very negative result. So yes, the preservation of a secret city is also a negative, but not so a negative. So the preservation of a secret city means that at least one agent must be a virtual power. So yes, it's also very negative. So there's in the first level some property can be preserved, such as conflict premise or admissible. But some uh, some property cannot be preserved, such as grounded thing. Grounded, the, the grounded extension, uh, which may, maybe means that these properties are too demanding to preserve. And now I'm going to talk the second level, which is the preservation of uh, the, the aggregation of extensions. The scenarios uh, I'm consider is fixed and aggregation framework. So every agent uh, was proposed a set of uh, arguments, which is an extension, which uh, reflecting uh, individual views on what constitutes an acceptable set of arguments in the context of arguments. So they share the same, uh, same uh, argumentation framework but have different opinion on what set of arguments is acceptable. So we would like to aggregate such information by uh, making use of COTA rule. COTA rule is the very is the most simple rules. So majority rule is, is an example of COTA rule the quota rule is that uh, an argument is acceptable by the accepted by the quota rule if the number of agents is greater than or equal to the quota. So there are several authors also have some very similar rules. Uh, the one is from A, another the C, C equals D. So this is an example, this is an argumentation framework. So all the all agents share the same. Aggregation framework, but uh, such, suppose that agent one proposed uh, A, C, uh, and agent two proposed A, D, and uh, agent three proposed A, D, and the respectors. And, uh, and we can see both agents, uh, the, the extension of agents are admissible, A, C is admissible, A, D is admissible, and uh, at the same time, A, D is also admissible. But after aggregation, after uh, uh, the majority rule, so now, now, now we have a the majority rule, we can see the result is A, we can see A is, is, is not admissible, which is an example shows that the majority rule cannot preserve, uh, cannot preserve uh, admissible. So, uh, uh, so there's also, there's some result 
to which it is positive, such as the, uh, the conflict freeness, which our result shows that the conflict freeness can be preserved by the uh, quota rule when the quota is, uh, is equal to, is, is greater than this n divided 2. And uh, this is so that it's very similar to the aggregation of aggregation framework. Uh, so we have the positive uh, result when aggregating conflict freeness. And uh, how much time have Okay. And uh, the second is uh, preserve the self defending And uh, we can show uh, the, if you want to preserve the self defending this property, and uh, the, the, the quota rule has to satisfy this formula. And, uh, but the fact is, the most, uh, the most of the quota rule cannot preserve, uh, cannot preserve the self defending and uh, there's one exception is the nomination rule. Uh, we show the nomination rule can preserve the property of being self-defending. And uh, for the more demanding rule, such as for the, the, the more demanding property such as the uh, admissible, there's no quota rule can preserve the admissible for all argumentation frame uh, works. So this is a bad news. So preserve uh, that rate state is also uh, if you want to preserve the brain state, you have to satisfy this formula. And uh, the fact is, the ordinary unanimity rule can preserve the property of being brain state. So and at the same time, no quota will preserve conflict, conflict needs for all argumentation frameworks. So now I'm brief, brief summary my sum, summary my, my work. So, so what I'm doing is aggregating argumentative senses at different levels of abstraction by aggregating argumentation frameworks or, uh, and or by aggregating extensions. And uh, we can sh see that uh, at both levels, uh, some property can be preserved while some property cannot be preserved. This may indicate uh, that these properties are too demanding and, uh, and uh, we studied the preservation of property of argumentation frameworks and in the future world we can consider other forms of argumentation frameworks <coughs> along with further properties such as the, 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 the value-based argumentation frameworks or the bipolar argumentation framework because in this argumentation framework we have some very different structure and we have different uh, uh, we have different properties such as in the bipolar argumentation framework we have the such as connectiveness uh, uh, similar to the connectiveness in the graph. And uh, we also can study the more complicated rule because in our, in, in my case, I already consider the very simple rule, such as the, the quota rule, but there are also some very complicated rules, such as the distance based rule, which is also uh, of interesting questions uh, of considerable. So this is, this is my talk. So, any questions? Very welcome. Okay, thank you.